Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to possibly the coolest video I'll ever record on this channel. Today, well, obviously, we're in the kitchen. Please excuse the echo. It's gonna be a banger of a video. As you can probably tell from the title, it is a burial-inspired track from scratch, but it's gonna be in one session and I can't use any VST instruments or samples from like a sample pack. There's only three ways in which I can get my sounds and they are the following. Sampling using an 80s turntable, my Moog sub fatty synthesizer for all my bass needs, good old fashioned microphone just recording Foley and shit. Hence why I'm in the kitchen, the best place to record some very inspired Foley would obviously be in the fucking kitchen. What's next? Videos in the bath? So before we get into it, I will show you the signal flow of basically everything and how everything is hooked up, but don't worry if you want to jump straight into it. I'll leave a chapter point so you can hop on to the next part of the video. But for all you gearheads out here, here is the setup. Obviously to host everything and have Ableton Live, gonna need a laptop sort. I got my MacBook here, next piece of essential hardware running through USB, complete Audio 6 interface, this is Mark 1, still a banger. I got it in 2013, shit, it never let me down, absolute solid piece of hardware. Running into input 1, we have the Yeti USB microphone, in Ableton you can't have two different inputs, like an interface and a USB mic? Maybe there's a way to configure that actually. So yeah, I'm running from the headphone jack of the mic into the first input of the interface. Input 2 is from the Moog Sub Fetty, just using a basic quarter inch jack. Input 3 and 4 would be the turntable, but in order to run the turntable you need a preamp. Because the audio coming from the back of the turntable is so, so quiet, you need an amplifier to boost that. So the turntable is running through RCA into the back of the amp, and with the amp I've got RCAs running from record out into the back of my interface, which is 3 and 4 RCA with a quarter inch jack adapter. Nice! So we've got four-ish inputs, three different possible sound recording methods. Pissed about the echo though, there's not much I can do about it. Especially since I've got my USB mic, I'm gonna have to use my camera audio of me shouting. Obviously, first things first. Definitely worth noting the needle on my turntable is fucked! So there's gonna be a heap of distortion, which I'm hoping will add to the aesthetic and the lo finess of it, but yeah. If it's sounding super distorted, I need to replace that part, but fuck it, oh well. Absolute banger of an album. Nobody really knows that much about Burial, which is kind of exciting really, but super influential and inspirational artist. Man how shaped dubstep through like garage. Oh, absolutely. Oh yeah, there's that distortion, lovely. The needle's skipping, but I reckon that could be a cool loop. I'm gonna like, reference the shit out of these drums. Also might be good to record just a little bit so we can like EQ match this in Ozone right at the end to get that extra rest in. Not sounding that distorted today. Weird. So last night in prep of this video, I did pick out a few albums in which I want to sample and what areas and different things I want to sample from it, whether it be drums, atmosphere, uh, vocals, and stuff like that. So first up on the list has to be James Blake's Overgrown, the texture king himself. We can find heaps of like textures and tones to sample from that. Next up would be Lord Pure Heroin. Nah. <laughs> Heroin. There's gonna be vocals and drums to sample off this one. Another Kiwi band, this is an EP by Die Die Die. Yeah, I got the right arm. There's a mean drum break, which I'm hopefully gonna get my drums from here. And lastly, Porter Robinson words for vocals and possibly textures as well. I think the plan is at the moment to just sample a bunch of stuff, get some sounds, and then record some folly with some kitchen sounds to build up like the drums, and then record the bass with the sub fatty, and hopefully mash it all together into something sick. As some of you might know, there are two common speeds with the turntable, 33 and 45 revolutions per minute. This is in 45, so we can actually slow it down uh, to 33, and it might sound even better. Should have side two, last track. There, hopefully. A few moments later. Definitely did not record the wrong input. Oh well, here we go. <laughs> Get <one> back up. <laughs> it's such a need. Yeah, and we'll drop the speed down to 33 as well. I have another record which I want to sample for the snare, which is going to be the Lord record. The two tracks I will be sampling is White Teeth Teens and Glory and Gore. There it is. Fuck! Here it is. No one around here is good at keeping their eyes closed. And here's the other bit, the vocal bit, hopefully. We wouldn't be seen dead here in the day. Nice clean vocal bit. I think at the end there's another bit actually. That's distorting hard. It is James Blake time. Hopefully it's not super, super, super distorted. 
so far so good. And I want you to know. All right, let's skip around the record see if we can find some other shit to sample. Possibly. Yo, chucks and drums behind that is basically Meredith. Sick, thanks for the content, James Blake. Please don't copyright strike me. <laughs> Since James Blake provided us with so many different textures to sample, I only think we need the vocal bit from uh, Goodbye to a World. That's what I'm getting. I'm thinking of like the little vocal like bit right at the end. All right, time to get into the Ableton shenanigans of this video. There it is. We wouldn't be seen dead here in the day. Another bit to sample there. This is so much fun. Do we sample the vinyl sounds from James Blake? I think we could. I really want that vocal bit. I'm very conscious that there's a bad hum in the background. All right, there it is. Hum removal. There we go. Adapt that shit. I don't want to have to. Oh, it's good. Fuck it, what we're gonna do is chuck all the shit on a separate channel, duplicate that, have isotope on that, freeze flatten that, and watch my CPU skyrocket. Shit, that was quick. All right, we need something to get started. What tempo is? 130. Definitely do not warp any of that shit. That will sound screwed. Anyway, drums. Frickin' annoying standing. Ah, oh, damn it! There we go, that's a bit better. I reckon we just use a shitload of samplers, actually, or simplest. Lower. That's burial. Alright, let's hopefully I can get this. It's good to be off the grid though, that's that's the thing with Burial. It's got that little like slightly off kilter sound, which sounds fucking sick. It's way too quiet. No, we're not throwing OTT on it. Is that kind of... Is that too swan? Maybe a limbo for. Um, okay, and where's that loop that we had before? This was sounding sick. I can't believe we're sampling burial. This bit's got a unique rhythm which just happens to fall on the grid. No, I like that, that was unique AF. Do 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 do, another simpler slash sampler. That's not the clean one. One shot again. That, that was a banger, that was a banger, there we go. What we need is a shitload of send and return tracks. Two reverbs. Oh yeah, make it mono so it's not it's stupidly wide. I reckon we replace the transients with some uh, kitchen folly actually. Dead here in the day. And I think the glorious thing I'm gonna do. Yeah, we'll put that on pause. Um, get back to the drums. We might as well do a, a bit of drums now. Look at that. Use my chest. That hurt. <laughs> Use my chest. Uh, saturate again. Let's do it so it's in time with this fucking thing. I think we need a cheeky... 
another one. Yeah, that's kicking up. More folly, more folly, let's keep the show rolling. Maybe you need two knives. It was taking me a while to get like the kind of rhythmic sound. And you're thinking, Sam, that sounds too silverware-y. Well, nobody's drums have ever been described as silverware-y before, but don't worry, I'm gonna pitch this shit down. I didn't want a different pitch tone. A little bit lagged. Sent to the reverb chain. Overdrive. Then found some rice. That's good enough. I need like a quick kind of Oh that little That sounding too real Salt and pepper time, here we go. All right, so while I was copying across over the footage and recharging the battery, I was thinking to myself, why can't I create that super snary sound? What does it sound like? It kind of sounds like a stick hitting something wooden. I was like, breadboard, drumstick. Chuck that into a sampler, we should be good to go. Fuck yes, gotta get the right pitch. That will do. All right, let's work on some structure. Need to get into like the James Blake stuff. All right, I think we had Vinyl Crackle intro for like. Four bars. And then have the drums kick in. That pitch down, not even warped. Glitch, oh no, it is warped. Yeah, that's more bearable with the formats. Okay, we need some custom reverb and a little bit of overdrive on something. And some delay, 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 delay. Oh, this is shaping up, beautiful. We need to figure out what um, key Overgrown is in, because we pitched it down by six. A minor, what's six down? D sharp. I really want that part, but so does Dor I'm gonna try it anyway, see if it works. Still not sold on the dead here in the day kind of sample. That is spooky and burial like, so we're gonna push that. This could be good. Might be too distorted and like digitally clipped. 
in order for it to sound burial-esque, but pitch it down to three. Disguise it with some EQ. Isolate that vocal, I'd be very, very happy. When I say negative six. This could be a banger. Heaps of feedback. We need that to sweep in there because there's a stupid hi hat in the background. You could probably get that out with like Isotope RX or something, but. to a sick chorus get the chorus down we can kind of like deconstruct certain bits uh add more bits to make verses and shit like that so it is sub fatty time it feels like these are two different keys oh no i'm running out of battery no 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 no, no. i'm really hoping all this respace will just tie everything together Don't need resonance, need a shitload of distortion, every single distortion element possible. Please. We want saw wave, two saw waves, both osses on the max, sub os on the max. And then cut off, obviously down. That might be too distorted. And it might be too frequency. Shooter knows out of key. Something's out of key. Uh, they start recording some basses actually. Just getting to the juicy part on the bass and the camera just stops, so iPhone time. Something is off. Oh, this is doing my head in. Gritty. I use a little bit of the, the old side chain, actually. Um, let's just end. I don't know what. <laughs> Which one is it? Oh, this will do. All these elements are right, it's gonna be the OG kind of texture we added and stuff. What the? Oh my god. One semitone off, lovely. Negative one then, if it's an E? Oh, God, no, this is tripping me out. I can't tell anymore. I need like a second opinion. <laughs> I forgot I had this. Mixed in key. Producer edition. Oh, studio edition.
It's saying E flat minor, which is D sharp minor, which is what I'm doing. Okay, if that's that, then what is this? So, what we learned is I have no fucking clue. Maybe this needs to be pitched. So it needs to go negative eight. What about that distorted white T teens part? It's been an absolute banger. I've had so much fun on this episode apart from the pack up and I'm predicting the pack down. Oh boy. Actually, we need to do one more thing. Group that. Yeah, the little bit of burial that I recorded at the start. EQ, EQ, digital, uh, desired track. That'll do. <laughs> Check on this group, which has our inspired burial on it. Where's the bass? I didn't add the bass in. Lovely. That's pretty even, Steven. That's not bad. And now we match the shit out of it. <laughs> so it is similar. Why is the snare sounding so dry? A few moments later. And that is that for the burial inspired track from scratch. Little track from scratch. Um, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Be sure to smash that like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new around here. This has been a shitload of fun. This pack down is not gonna be a shitload of fun. But yeah, have a great day. See you next time and peace. Thank you.